But we should be thinking about Aaron Rodgers because we know the Jets certainly are thinking about Aaron Rodgers. And Diana Rossini is as plugged in on the Jets as anybody had this to say today. There is optimism in the New York Jets building today. It actually started before that trip to the West Coast to meet Aaron Rodgers in person. This was all driven by owner Woody Johnson. He wanted to get in front of the quarterback, get to know him a little bit, and talk. So they went in there thinking they could get him, and they came home believing they are poised to get him. Okay. I mean, as confident as anyone, right? The owner of the, the Jets. The Jets are, yeah. As confident as anyone. Yeah. And like... Was setting up for a massive <laughs> failure, by the way, in typical Jets fashion. Well, that's the thing. Like, yeah. this can only go one way now. The, the, the train has left the station, so the Jets have to trade for him. Yep. And the Packers, if they've let, if the Packers have let it get this far down the road, that means the Packers, by just letting them all talk, letting Rodgers and Jets talk means that they're over. Did you ever hear some of the post-nitty-gritty on the Kevin Durant to Phoenix trade? And I know we're going to no. talk about Durant later because, unfortunately, he turned his ankle last night pregame right before he's about to make his Phoenix home debut. The nitty-gritty that came out after that is that right as the deal with the Brooklyn Nets was, like, at the one-yard line, yeah. the Nets knew they had the Phoenix Suns over a barrel. So they started oh, right, asking right. for more stuff. And one of them was Jay Crowder, who they ended up flipping. Okay. But Jay Crowder was supposed to be traded, I forgot where, for like six, uh, three second round picks or something. There was another, the, the Suns had a different deal in place for Jay Crowder. And the Nets knew they had Phoenix, knew they had him because yeah. they wanted Durant so badly on the Suns, mm -hmm. they could just start making demands at the last minute. I and I wonder if the Green Bay Packers could pull that type of thing against the Jets now. It's like, listen, it's out there. I don't Everyone think so. thinks this is happening. Yeah. If we wanted you to throw in a last minute this or that, the Jets have to say yes at this point. I don't think so because the Jets can always pivot to Lamar Jackson if they're going to. They, I don't think it's the same as. You the might want to call their bluff if you're the Green Bay. Honestly, if Green Bay starts asking for a lot of stuff, then the Jets are going to say no. I'll bet you the Jets don't give up that 13 pick. I don't know. Well, I, that part I'm assuming has already gotten done. I'm talking about a future this or a future that or a you, player or whatever. I, well, first of all, Diana also reported that the Green Bay is not going to ask for the kitchen sink. I don't think the Jets – I think the Jets are in there in Rodgers. But, Maggie, if they're showing to them, they, they said they want a huge pay cut. So explain that. I, I think the Jets are not – so Not that in there, Rogers. This was, uh, you know, there's a theory out there yeah. that the Jets flew to uh, California to meet with Rogers yeah. to basically also not just woo him to come to New York, but also implore him to take a Tom Brady type deal so that it could leave room for guys he might want to come with him. We know how much he loves playing with Randall Cobb. He's like the grand, the godfather to Cobb's son or whatever. Not that Cobb's going to cost that much, but maybe is there a way to get David Bakhtiari's longtime left tackle? Like all the things that Tom Brady did when he went to Tampa as a free agent, mind you, got to bring Gronk, got to bring Antonio Brown. You know, Rodgers, I think Woody Johnson and the Jets, from what I understand, was trying to convince Rodgers, do something similar and we'll get whoever you want. Yeah, yeah. But all that says the Jets are approaching this not as an all-in, uh, in the sense that they're they're they don't want to trade that much. They don't want to pay that much for Rodgers. I think they could back. They could step away. from I don't this. think they can back out at this point. I, well, I mean, there are other options out there, though. I know, but Lamar's going to cost you two hundred thirty million guaranteed. That's fine. I mean, it's not going to cost you. It's going to cost you two draft picks for a much younger player. Then you have your solution at quarterback. You don't think that they would back out of this? I do not. I don't think they can. Hmm. I think it. I think it would look bad. I think the fan base would revolt. I think it would look like same old Jets dysfunction. Couldn't do it. Couldn't hmm. land Rodgers. I, I think they're they're in way too deep right now. 